Chris Meyer. Join me and the Legendary Customs team as we take ordinary rides and craft them into Legendary Customs. Zach just came upstairs and said he's got things finished. Not exactly sure what that means because I've not been here most of the day. I've been working from the house. So let's go check it out. And my nemesis. I think we are talking about the hood. Or front end, I guess I should say. For the Corvette. Let's go take a check. That's a stupid. Let's go take a peek. body with a trunk well here you go fully functional trunk so after this color goes a mid coat and that mid coat is the pearl and the metallic flake and then after that goes the another mid coat with the candy How's it going down here? Uh, I gotta wait for I got the base coat on. And I gotta wait for it to dry so I can send out some things that I noticed. So Okay. So we're out here working on this. Yeah. Damn, it's a good color, isn't it? Yeah. at right now is the copper base with the pearl and metallic right over the top of it as you can see it is there but it's not a prominent color that just totally wipes out the copper so this is the mid coat it's on the entire car and then on top of this Mr. Zach is mixing up candy apple red, which is totally transparent. So everything that's here will actually shine right through. Anyway, this is step number 1,632, but it's coming along great. Keep watching, next step is gonna hit. Okay, what you are looking at now is step number four. So we have the sealer, we have the base coat, we have the mid coat with metallics and pearls, and this is a totally transparent candy coat. 
And I'm not going to go in because I don't want to bring any dust in that's unnecessary. But you can definitely see the candy over the top is looking awesome. Next step is the clear coat. And then this will be ready to cure out. Color sand and buff. Looking awesome. Okay, here's the last step in clear coat. And as you can see, the clear really makes the paint pop. Great flip, bright red, dark reds, almost blacks. That's what we were going for. Unimus! Day 20 or somewhere in there. Haven't been doing daily updates because who needs to watch sanding, sanding, and more sanding. Zach is doing the final color sanding is what they call it, of the clear coat. That is literally taking off all the orange peel, making sure it's smooth. We do a thousand grit, 1500 grit, then we do 3000 grit. Anyway, long and short, He's working on that, and then we polish it and buff it. It's turning out great. Check it out. As you can see, the doors are not on it right now. Jammed out beautifully. All of the work up to this point on the body, the interior and such, was done by the owner. And then we took it and fine-tuned the bodywork so it would be beautiful and straight. As you can see, by the edges, you don't sand up and over the edges because you will blow through the clear coat and you will have a challenge on your hand for that. So those small areas that you still see in paint will be done by hand. It's coming along great. Again, a trunk in a 71. Carbon fiber has been clear coated, still needs to be color sanded. That looks awesome. We actually put a 2023 Corvette color on the ends versus just straight black. That's, that's carbon fiber for the 2023 Corvette. So it's black with like a metallic coat in it. Looks really good with the contrast of true carbon fibers. These cover the exhaust pipes and this is the front splitter. Go check it out. Very close. Look at that badass.
1971 white body Corvette is coming along awesome. You've seen it come all the way to this stage. Charlie's on his way here from work. We have banned him from the shop. I mean, he's wanted to come and I'm like, hell no. Today he says, I'm coming to the shop to pick up my parts. And I said, excellent. All your parts will be upstairs. The car's downstairs. There's no need to go downstairs. He didn't like that. He did an LOL, but behind his phone, I know he just went, is he kidding? Because I've, I've literally banned him. When we first started, he came quite a bit. I said, no more. You gotta wait, you gotta have a surprise. So anyway, the 71 wide body has been through paint, has been through body work, has been through buffing, has been through color sanding. Not in that order, but you get where I'm coming from. This is very impromptu. Kathy's sitting in the corner, and as soon as he gets here, we will get his reactions for the very first time that he has seen this color, the finished body work, and the color sanded Corvette that is just kicking ass. So. Well, he's only waited a little while. I hope he likes it. If he doesn't like it, we're gonna catch that also on the camera. Holy shit. <laughs> well. You've been waiting a long time to see this. 20 years. 20 years. 17. And I'm finding the camera and the phone just never do it justice. No, never. That picture you sent, I've showed everybody I've showed just with. <laughs> oh my god, so that doesn't even show you much of it. Yeah, the phone doesn't even pick anything up. It the the cameras just don't send what's sitting here. No. As you've been watching this, some of what I'm gonna say is a repeat, but this is a unique car for us. We actually did very little work on it. We did a lot of hours, but the majority of the work on this vehicle was done by Charlie. He's the owner of the car. He came last night, which you see, we'll see on the video, and it has been 17 years in the making to get to today. We did 170 some odd hours of body work to get it straight, to massage it. Charlie did a great job getting it close, but we had to get it all the way. But when you look at some of the different things on this car that he totally did himself, for a novice working out of his garage in his spare time, he did some pretty incredible things. Right here, it's a 1971, remember this. Did any 1971 Corvettes have a trunk? Absolutely not. This is a working trunk. He took a modern Corvette trunk, cut it up, made it work, so it looks just like factory. It's just amazing. The side markers, those are from C5s, I believe. So again, it's 71 with the C5, generation C3, C5, C6, side markers on it. So he did so many things. <laughs> and he did the wide body. We had to massage them and make them flow, but he put them on. He did so much work on this that it's just incredible. When he retires from his job, Charlie, are you listening? You have a job here if you wish. Especially working with fiberglass. Anyway, the long and the short is, we have a lot of time in the paint. 
A gentleman today that we are painting his 1972 Nova came in. We've been working with each other for about three months, getting all the details worked out. We have a pretty big backlog. So he came in, he saw this on the internet last night and he wanted to see it in person. The pictures on the internet are smashing, but he said they do absolutely no justice that this car in person is three times, in his words, what you see on the internet. This is a, tr a quad coat paint. You'll see in the video, base coat is a copper. That copper in the right light actually comes all the way through the candy and the two mid coats and it, you'll see coppers at different angles. The first mid coat on top of the base coat is a mid coat that is full of gold pearls and silver metallics. On top of that, the second mid coat, four layers of candy apple red. And then on top of that is the standard clear coat. But we are very, very proud and happy to work on this vehicle and to bring it to the level that it is now. This vehicle is truly, you got it, legendary. Charlie, thank you very much for bringing in your 1971 Corvette wide body, your C3. And after 17 years waiting for this day, Legendary Customs was very proud to be part of it because that's what we're all about. The memories that this car has had for you in the past over the 20 years that you've owned it, three years of using it, 17 years of building it, and now it's gonna be back on the road creating more memories and with how you drive, probably a speeding ticket or two. He scared the crap out of me. <laughs> anyway. Appreciate each and every one of you watching. Again, if you like what you see, hit the like button down below. If you have something sitting in your garage that you haven't gotten around to or you need help finishing it, send us an email at our email address, which is listed down below, and I will answer every email and get back to you with where our schedule is and after looking at what you have to see if we can help you out. But anyway, appreciate it. Keep watching many more episodes to come and this beautiful 1971 wide body is going home on Saturday. Hopefully it's sunny because I want to see this in the sun. This paint is going to be amazing. Keep watching. Thank you.